Have you ever wondered what force of nature could traverse an entire ocean and devastate coastal communities thousands of miles away? This enigma, my friends, is the formidable power of the tsunami, a sequence of long wavelength ocean waves born from the most violent disturbances beneath the ocean's surface. Picture this, the ocean floor trembles, it shudders and shifts, as two tectonic plates, vast, unyielding slabs of the Earth's crust, clash or slide past one another. This movement, this seismic dance, stirs up a disturbance, a ripple that quickly grows into a mammoth wave, a tsunami. Born in the deep sea, it begins its journey across the ocean at a breathtaking speed, its height deceptively modest at this stage, often just a few centimeters. Now imagine the same wave reaching the shallows near the coast. The water depth decreases, and the wave's amplitude, its height, starts to rise, sometimes to over 100 feet. It is here that the true destructive power of the tsunami is unveiled. The rising water levels can cause catastrophic damage, flooding, erosion, and the destruction of structures and infrastructure, leaving coastal communities in their wake, grappling with loss and devastation. But the threats do not end there. Tsunamis can also trigger strong currents, capable of drowning swimmers and destroying vessels. They can cause erosion, sweeping away beaches and riverbanks. They can carry debris, turning harmless objects into dangerous projectiles. They can contaminate water supplies, putting lives at risk. And they can even trigger secondary hazards like fires and transportation accidents, complicating evacuation, response, and recovery efforts. This is the power and the mystery of tsunamis, a force of nature that, in a matter of minutes, can transform serene coastal landscapes into scenes of unimaginable devastation. It's a testament to the raw and untamed power of our planet, a reminder of our vulnerability in the face of such immense natural forces. In this video, we will delve into the science behind tsunamis and understand why they are one of nature's most formidable forces. Scene Script Tsunamis start with a disturbance, a ripple that turns into a wave of destruction, but what triggers this process? The most common instigator of this havoc is an underwater earthquake. Imagine the Earth's crust as a giant jigsaw puzzle, made up of pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving, albeit very slowly, about as fast as your fingernails grow. Sometimes these plates collide or slide past one another. When this happens underwater, it can displace a colossal amount of water, setting off a chain reaction that leads to the creation of tsunami waves. Picture a pebble being dropped into a pond. The initial splash is like the earthquake, and the resulting ripples are akin to tsunami waves. Except instead of a pebble, we're talking about a piece of the Earth's crust. And instead of a pond, we have the vast expanse of the ocean. Volcanic eruptions and landslides, both above and below the water, can also trigger tsunamis. A volcanic eruption can displace water rapidly and forcefully, just like an earthquake. Similarly, a landslide can send a large amount of material crashing into the water, creating waves. The energy from these disturbances is transferred to the water, causing waves to radiate outward in all directions, just like the ripples from our metaphorical pebble. These waves can travel at incredible speeds, often reaching hundreds of kilometers per hour in the open ocean. Surprisingly, at this stage, their height is usually only a few centimeters, and they pass unnoticed by ships at sea. However, as these waves approach the shore, the shallower water slows them down. But the energy they carry must go somewhere so the waves grow taller. This is when a tsunami becomes a hazard, reaching heights of over 30 meters in extreme cases, and causing the devastation we often associate with this natural phenomenon. So, the energy from the Earth's crust is transferred to the water, creating a wave that travels at high speed across the ocean. But how does this wave turn into a disastrous tsunami? Imagine a wave traveling thousands of miles across the ocean, barely noticeable at first, but growing in size as it approaches the shore. This wave is not your ordinary ocean wave. It's a tsunami, a behemoth born from the violent interactions of tectonic plates beneath the sea. As these plates clash or slide past one another, they create a disturbance in the water, a ripple that quickly evolves into a wave, the tsunami wave. Now let's join this wave on its journey. Out in the deep ocean, our wave travels at high speed, sometimes as fast as a jet plane, yet, its height or amplitude is rather modest. To a ship sailing over it, the tsunami might seem like nothing more than a gentle swell. It's easy to underestimate the power concealed beneath these seemingly harmless ripples. But as our wave approaches the shore, something begins to change. The ocean floor rises, and the water depth decreases. 
This transition from the deep to the shallow water forces the wave to slow down, but there's a catch. The energy it carries cannot simply disappear, it has to go somewhere. And it does, it's forced upwards. This is where our wave undergoes a dramatic transformation. It grows taller, increasing in height from a few centimeters in the open ocean to potentially more than 30 meters as it nears the shore. What was once a barely noticeable ripple in the vast sea now becomes a towering wall of water. This is not a wave you'd want to surf. The wave's speed may decrease as it enters shallower water, but its destructive potential skyrockets. It's this transformation, this sudden increase in wave height, that makes tsunamis one of the most fearsome natural disasters. As the water depth decreases the wave's energy is forced upwards, resulting in a massive increase in wave height, and this is when a tsunami becomes truly devastating. The destructive power of a tsunami is not limited to its initial impact. Indeed, the aftermath of a tsunami can be just as devastating as the initial wave. The perils of tsunamis are vast and varied, making them one of nature's most fearsome forces. One of the most immediate and visible dangers of a tsunami is flooding. The colossal force of the tsunami wave can result in catastrophic flooding, washing away entire communities in its path. This flooding can lead to significant loss of life, extensive damage to property and infrastructure, and contamination of water supplies. But the hazards don't stop there. Tsunamis can generate violent currents that are strong enough to sweep away even the most seasoned swimmers. These currents can wreak havoc in harbors, damaging and destroying vessels, and causing further destruction to infrastructure. Erosion is another major concern. The power of a tsunami can strip away beaches, riverbanks, and other coastal areas, leading to significant loss of property and infrastructure. Homes, businesses, and entire communities built along the shore can be washed away in an instant. The debris carried by a tsunami can also cause extensive damage. Trees, structures, vehicles and other objects can be picked up and carried by the wave, functioning as battering rams that cause devastation and destruction wherever they land. Contamination is another serious danger associated with tsunamis. The floodwaters can contaminate water supplies and food sources, posing a significant health risk to people and animals alike. And let's not forget the secondary hazards. Tsunamis can lead to fires, transportation accidents, and hazardous material spills. These secondary dangers can complicate evacuation efforts, hamper response times, and make recovery efforts even more challenging. As we can see, a tsunami's impact extends far beyond the initial wave, causing widespread destruction and posing multiple threats to human life and infrastructure. The power of a tsunami is truly a force to be reckoned with. Tsunamis are undoubtedly one of nature's most powerful and destructive forces. As we've journeyed through the science and intricacies of these oceanic behemoths, we've seen that they are not just simple waves, but complex phenomena born from the very movement of our planet. At the heart of a tsunami, we find tremendous undersea earthquakes, the clashing and shifting of tectonic plates. This disturbance ripples across the ocean, creating a series of waves that can span entire ocean basins. But the origins of tsunamis don't end there. Underwater landslides and volcanic eruptions too have the power to stir the sea into a tsunami. The journey of these waves is swift and deceptive. Over the open ocean their speed is breathtaking yet their height remains modest. It's only when they approach the shore the water depth decreases and their true form is revealed. The wave amplitude surges, sometimes reaching staggering heights of more than 100 feet. The danger a tsunami brings is multifaceted. The obvious threat lies in the flooding, where the rapid rise in water level can cause devastating damage to life, property, and infrastructure. However, tsunamis also wield other destructive tools. They stir up violent currents, erode our coastlines, and transport debris that acts as battering rams. They can even contaminate our water supplies and food sources, and give rise to secondary hazards like fires and hazardous material spills. But as we've seen, the power of a tsunami is not solely in its destructive force. It's a testament to the immense and ever-changing energy of our planet. Tsunamis serve as a reminder that we are living on a dynamic, active world. And the more we understand these forces, the better we can prepare for and respond to them. By understanding the science behind tsunamis, we can better prepare for and respond to these incredible forces of nature, minimizing their impact and ensuring our safety. Knowledge and respect for the power of nature are our best defense against the awesome strength of a tsunami.